Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to talk about Intervention Image Library. It is a PHP image manipulation library, and the benefit of Intervention Image Library can help you to optimize the images in a web website or a web application. And in this case, once the images are optimized, then your website will be able to load a little bit faster. But one of the bottlenecks of um, web development is working with images. And this will actually be a very good solution in your Laravel application. So let us go ahead and here we have a new install of Laravel application and I think it's Laravel 10. I want us to search for intervention image such that we are able to install it. You just pick this first one that we have here. And what I want is to go to installation. So for us to be able to install this, we are going to run composer require intervention image. So I'll just copy some portion of this and just type in our terminal, new terminal. I think it is composer. And then we can be able to paste those ones. So composer require intervention image. I'm going to pause a little bit for it to install. Our package is fully installed. I would like us to go back to the website and do a little bit more of setup. And I'm going to scroll up until where we have integration for Laravel. So this is what I would like us to look at. So we are going to, after installing it, we are going to go to providers. So in this case, in our config app.php. So you go to config, then app.php. And down here where we have providers, and just here where we have package providers is where I would like to paste it. So I'm just going to paste it here. And I'm going to have a comma at the end, like that. And then I will also copy the aliases which I'm going to paste on the aliases, um, the place where they're supposed to be pasted. So I will scroll downwards again, we have the class aliases and inside here, I can be able to just paste that one here and still add a comma. So once we have it like that, then the next thing that we are going to do is to publish our configuration. In this case, I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste in our in our terminal. And I think we have an issue because there is this dollar sign here. So let me just remove it. It's the one that is giving an error. So if I hit that, then again, our config is published. And now we can be able to go ahead and use it. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just for quick prototyping, I'm going to go to resources, views, and then welcome.blade.php. And in this file that we have here, I'm going to just remove everything. And then I'm going to add HTML5 uh, tag like that. And these ones are, are being added like that because of um, extensions that have installed for HTML. And then after that, I would like to pull in the bootstrap CSS. I have opened getbootstrap.com on the first page. When you scroll downwards, you will have the CDN. And that CDN is what I would like to include anywhere here. I can even include it after the title. And then now I want us to have a form inside here. So maybe we can have div with a class of a row. You close that div and inside here we are going to have a column. So div with a class of a column like that. And then going to close it. And I, I just want to copy this div here. I want on one div we have the input on the other on, the, on one column. We have the input on the other. We have the submit button. So here I'm going to just have input and then type in this case we can have file 
and then I can give it a class of uh, form control. And of course, everything here can be simplified. It doesn't, you, don't, you do not have to do all this. You can just be able to create the input and the submit button like that. And you have it like that. And I'm going to call it submit. Then, of course, we can have type. Uh, type is a submit. And then, of course, I want to wrap whatever it is that we have inside here inside form tag like that. And after the button, we can close our form. And then I want us to have this form have a method of a post. And then the ink type, we have multi-part form data. And then I want us to have the action. And the action, I want it to go to upload. So basically, this is what I want us to have in our form. So let me just refresh. We see what we have. So I will visit localhost 8000 and this is how our form looks like. It's not very nicely styled in fact. Um, I, I, I would want to leave it like that but maybe inside here where we are having the row I can also add form, I mean container like that. And then if we refresh Maybe a little bit nicer. It doesn't really matter. So now, I want us to now be able to handle the submit because currently if we are to click submit, then it is going to go to upload and upload is not there. So I want to go to the routes folder and then the web.php file. And inside here is where I want us to just have a route and we will handle everything inside this route that you are creating. So what I'm going to have is route and I, I put the method to be a post method. Do you have upload? And then after that, we can be able to have function like that. And then inside here is where I want us to put the code for our form. So in this case, this is a place where we are going to to upload our file. So maybe I can be able to just do some validation. This one is just for the sake of it. So we can say request uh, validate and we can be able to have an array of values. And of course, it's only one 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 thing image. And then so the name of our input will be image. And then, of course, what I can say is that the image is required and I want it to be an image. Maybe we can be able to accept some memes. So in this case, like that, the meme types and we can say JPEG. And we can accept also JPG. We can accept PNG. Whatever it is that you think you want to accept the image types so i think that is okay and maybe we can be able to set a maximum maybe maximum upload size in this case we can set it to mb 2048 like that obviously i'm not handling the validation in the front end so no big deal really after that i want us to then check that if whatever is, if this validation is passed, if we have our image, so in this case, I can say if request has file, and in this case, our file is uh, called image, the name of the file that we are uploading is image. And inside here is where I want us to go ahead and uh, manipulate our image. So in this case, I want to save in a variable called IMG like that and I can now use intervention and I'm going to say so this is from intervention image and then make and inside here we can pass in our image request uh, image and then we can go ahead and chain the resizing and we can put custom size so in this case I'm going to just say 300 pixels by 200 300 by 200 like that 
that is for the width and height and then after that I want to get the name of the file the name of the file I can be able to just get request uh, image and then we can be able to chain uh, get client original name like that and then of course maybe the path the folder where we want to save it but this path has to be existent so you're going to say public uh, path and here we are going to just pass the name of uh, the the folder in which we are saving and then now we can be able to say img uh, save and in this case we can pass the path uh, path and then i can concatenate forward slash so in this case we are moving inside that specific uh, folder and then i can pass in the name of the file like that of course there are several things that i haven't done so let me go ahead and do that up here we need to include request uh, request request like that and for us to be able to use that we must use illuminate uh, http request above here and i also need to go ahead and create a file inside this a folder inside this public fol folder and i want to have a folder called photos the reason why i'm doing that is because it is the file in which we are saving our photo obviously you can be able to create this path dynamically i mean the folder dynamically if it does not exist but in this case let us just go with it like that i want us to go back to our welcome.blade.php and inside here we want to have input type file and i want the name to be image and also i can be able to just say that the image is uh, required so if somebody has not uploaded anything there then we will have an issue so let us go ahead and attempt to to test but before we do that i want us to also be in a position inside our web.php after we have been able to save our image i want us to just return um image saved successfully so what is going to happen is that whatever kind of photo we upload as long as it is not beyond 2 mb it will be regardless of the dimensions that it has it will be resized to this size that we have been able to pass here so let us attempt and see if um, it's going to work so i'm going to refresh i'm going to pick an image from my machine then so that is what we have been able to pick and i'm going to click submit and it says page expired that is because i've not been able to include at csrf uh, blade directive so let me just do that so inside form we need to have at c s r f like that so that's okay so once we do that i think we can go back and attempt again so i'm going to choose the file and um, uh, open it and then submit and it says illuminate http request does not exist and just by looking at whatever it is that is written here it seems as if i have a typo so um uh, going to correct that illuminate like that so you save it again we are going to go back refresh choose our file open it and then submit and it says uh, the gd extension is not available with this installation I want us to just go and check if we can be able to sort this issue out so i want us to uh, open zamp 
and it was not running so i guess some of the issues are coming from that yes so we are going to run it but even before we run it i want us to go to config php ini and then what i'm going to search for is so inside our php ini i'm going to edit and say find and what i want to look for is extension something that goes by that name extension gd something let me see i think i need to be a little bit more refined in my search and this is what i'm looking for i'm going to comment this out and save after that i want to stop everything including the laravel server and then i will attempt to do it again and see if it works so i'm going to run laravel again php artisan serve and then i'm also going to start apache in my sql in this case and then i'm going to go back refresh choose the file again and then after that i want us to submit and it says it cannot be able to write to photo so let me just check why that is the case so it seems our 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 route is not being found i've attempted to check and it seems what i'm writing here is what is wrong because the folder i created is photos and what i have here is photo so i think that is where we are having the mis mismatch I want us to try again so i want us to just continue and it is loading let us see if it's going to upload and now image saved successfully so basically we have been able to save the file and you can see it is here thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point subscribe comment like the video and you can also share it Thank you very much.